Hello legends, I hope you're all doing very well. Now, over in the UK, it is absolutely freezing. Guys, comment down below, let me know what it's like where you are. I'm in my Udi and we're ready for a brand new video. Now, there isn't a huge amount of new things going on, but I will refer to a few comments that I got the other day. So, I did a video yesterday where I upgraded Jake Long. <coughs> so my cold is clearing up now. And Joanna Pover, the legend who's been on this channel for a while, told me to redo my mercenaries. Um, it's probably a good idea. Let's take a look and see what mercenaries I'm using at the moment. So I need to adjust this for a very important reason is that, you know, my guild actually needs to be useful. So at the moment, these are the ones that I've got. And these kind of are my highest ones, but what I didn't realize, so we've got E1 for Emerald, E1 for Emerald. So let's do this. So I'm, I'm going to put on Baymax. I'm going to put on Jake, definitely. I'm definitely going to put on Rose. I'm definitely going to put in um, Dante. Basically, I want to put in all those overpowered characters, which I use, and I can allow my team to use them. And I think that's very important just for the sake of, you know, I want my team to be able to use all these overpowered characters to clear as many of the um, surge etc as physically possible so i think we're off to a pretty good start here i always have to have duck and bunny in just because they are the gods so now i've kind of done my emerald one i like to put um aerial in because she's a brilliant healer and then i'm also just gonna put uh i'll probably put pocahontas in just because she's kind of my next emerald character and i like the idea of putting a, a buff character on but maybe not as many people use so we'll put pocahontas in so i think that is a very good sort of line of mercenaries there um i i'd i what's your highest level character that you you give away to the guilds so i think that's going to be very helpful and what then that allows me to do is keep pushing that out every single time to keep helping as many people as possible now what i need to do and focus on is trying to bring in as much money as physically possible now of course i would like a cheeky crate to come on but we haven't got that or a, a, a little cheeky four pound deal might be quite nice to get some money you know i'm not i'm not gonna say otherwise i'd like to spend four quid to get some gold but that is absolutely terrible deal <laughs> The deals at the moment have, have, have been quite bad. That one isn't, I, I guess that isn't bad if you're new to the game. Um, it's still a lot of money. You know, that's almost your food for a week. You're spending on some character shards. But um, there we go. So, yes, yeah, so it's not too bad. I think that's a pretty good start. So I've got a pretty good stack of mercenaries there. Now, one of the most important things I've been focusing on, like I just said, was trying to get as much money in as physically possible. But even with that being said, there's not like an easy way to just get millions of money. It's honestly all about, I reckon if I just put Pegasus on his own and clear this, it's all about just focusing on doing your city watch. But I still think, guys, I still think they need to rework the city watch, in my opinion. I'd really like to see um, the city watch actually give you a decent amount of money. Because what I um, what I have at the moment is you do city watch and they do like a million or something for clearing it. Which is honestly bafflingly bad. So I think one of the main things that could improve this game is, and I know I've said this in every video, I'd love an idle element to this game. Look, there's a reason people do the idle elements in the games, it's because people love an idle game. So if they can add an idle element into this, such maybe scales and character levels and how many stages you've gone through, then you just get loads of money every day, it would really balance out being able to upgrade all the characters. Because that's one of the main things that kind of upsets me in this, is that I can't get to upgrade all the characters unless I spend like 50 quid a month on gold. It's nearly impossible because they've definitely fixed the stamina. Now I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna put my foot down there and say they've done a fantastic job at the stamina fix. But what they haven't done, because this is what I mean, right? If I reset and raid this on hardest mode, four million gold. I have no words to express that that's not even one level up now. So that's kind of my problem with that. Yes, okay, all well and good, you're getting four million gold. But you're not, it, it, honestly, that is pointless. And this one here, look, 4 million. So even doing the hardest mode, you, you get nothing. Even when they triple the gold and they give you 15 million, it's still absolutely pointless. And they haven't actually looked at a City Watch for a while. 
Now, if you remember before Christmas, when I touched on some of these videos, they are doing some huge updates this year. They're doing a content creator program, which I'm excited, and hopefully you guys can all help support me when that comes out. And th there's, there's a lot of cool things coming out, but I just think they need to add in another little building down here, or maybe even the train, like the train stops here and you can click it, and it flies off and gives you resources and comes back, and you get loads of money. Like, and you're, it's almost like you're running the train. I don't know. Just speaking off the top of my head here but then you can get your idle currency i think that would be such a strong element so yeah basically the main way and really the only way to get money is kind of jumping in and doing here now what i don't do with ideas i don't follow the bonuses which is noy because this one's quite easy win with no support hero win whilst using a mercenary so i can jump into here and go okay who isn't a support hero jake isn't jake's a tank so I could quite easily take Jake like that, half a million it cost Hiram, and then I could probably just put on a damage cat like that. I bet you these two characters alone could probably clear this. Let's have a look. Um, Bolt might die quite quickly. No, what? Did I just lose 500 million gold? So, there we go. <laughs> if you don't get the win, you basically waste all your money. Now, I feel like I'm going to be judged for that because now I don't have enough money to hire anyone and I've just spent my last amount of money hiring people. Um, I, I will clear this one though. Yeah, so I just got 400 million, but that you basically have to take off the amount I've just hired and that's only 200 million. So that's why I don't tend to hire people because they're too expensive. Um, when I can clear these at like 100 million. So I, I normally just kind of go through and see what the star is telling me to do then I'll go for in quick fight and quick fight and quick fight. And like I said yesterday, and I said in a lot of videos, you can kind of tell by looking at the team, okay, that one should be relatively easy because they haven't got anyone like Dante, Bolt, or any of these sort of instant kill characters in. Um, I said it should be easy. Well, that was quite a high level I was attacking there. But yeah, so I've got I got um, 700 million in there. It's contribute, done. So there's nearly have a billion gold there, back up. So if I hadn't wasted that billion at the start, I would be over a billion in just pushing a few buttons there. So really, I cannot stress enough that even if you're sort of not hugely active on this game, you do need to just pop on, quickly do a surge and pop off. It is not a difficult thing, but you are. it is really going to kind of insinuate that position that you're in and it's going to be very, very strong. I think it's going to be a very good position indeed, guys. Now, I'm going to do, do a bit of a mod build on Ida, but for now, I'm quite happy where I am. I'll do a mod build on her tomorrow. We've got a friendship stuff leveled up as well. She's come along very well. And as, sorry, as you all know, she's a very good character. So I wonder if uh, are my double drops still on or have they run out now? They might have run out. Let's have a look. No, they're still on. So, okay, let's let's put her up to Emerald 2. Why not? So, let's get Ida up to Emerald 2 here. Another huge promotion for a fantastic character there. So, we have Ida up to Emerald 2, which is a huge, a huge buff again. So, I now actually need to get her mods up and get her levels up. Oh, yeah, I maxed out all her skills. So, I need to use her mods now and also come in and continue working on her friendship mission here so I can get everything upgraded for Max for her. So there we go, I just thought I'd have a bit of a chat with you. I, I'm really excited to see what's becoming in these new updates and hopefully we'll have, a, uh, have some new patch notes coming out very soon as well, guys. So do make sure you smash that like and subscribe button. And if you want to support the channel, guys, just subscribe and leave a comment on everything that I post or consider joining the channel and it will give you early access to all of my videos. I'll see you, Legends, in the next one.